Greetings. In this video, I want to cover a new feature in Pothos Flow that allows for better multi-monitor support. So previously, uh, a graph can be split up in multiple editor tabs where each tab can show different flow and display widgets. However, you could only ever look at one tab at a time. In this feature, each tab can be undocked into an independent dialog that can be dragged to different positions on the screen or to entirely different monitors. So depending upon how many monitors you have, you can have simultaneous display, control, and data flow widgets all shown at once. So I hope this greatly improves the editor experience. So this feature actually took quite a bit of research. Um, Qt has a strikingly similar feature called uh, uh, Docs that allow four docking positions within the um, main window. You can see them here with the block tree and the message window and some others. Essentially, they're all detachable. They can all be moved into their own independent dialogues uh, and drag to drop around into other docking positions. And ultimately, their positions can be saved when the widget's closed and restored. Uh, so it was a pretty close match, but I wasn't really able to use them because of their limitations. They're not meant to be arbitrary docking widgets like you'd see in a Xilinx Vivado tool. They were pretty much limited to just the four corners of the main window. Uh, I also look quite a bit at uh, detaching tabs. You can grab a tab and drag it out to essentially undock it. Um, these are quite hard, but I tried. Um, and I ended up settling on just giving the tab a button to essentially dock and undock it. So let's see that in action. Quick note, I didn't want to actually record this on two monitors. I thought it would make for a pretty bad video. So all the demos just show the dialogues crammed into one screen. So you'll have to use your imagination. Let's take a little QPSK transmitter demo and clean it up. First, we'll take these display widgets and put their own on their own display tab. Call it display. Notice the little icon um, on the corner of each tab. So once we move these to a new display widget, we'll undock them to their own independent dialog. Now let's move these around and stretch them out to make better use of the space. There we are. Now we can close this out to redock it. We can click and unclick these buttons to change the dock state as we please. If an existing widget is docked, the window, the tabs will strategically switch themselves so we don't display an empty tab if possible. Now finally we can close out the GUI. And when we reopen it, the positions of the dialogues will be restored. Let's see how this feature works when we have multiple open topologies. First, we'll make a change to the noise source by moving it. So now one topology has a change and the other doesn't. Now, no matter what dialog we select here, it'll correctly update the uh, save icons in the toolbar. Now also we should be able to copy and paste from one dialog to another, as you might expect. And finally, any of the blocks from the block tree should be able to be dragged into the open dialog and dropped. Well, so this was a pretty tedious feature and it took a lot of research, so there's bound to be bugs. You can find the feature in the master branch of the Pothos Flow repo. It's not yet released. If you happen to find any bugs, please post it on the issue tracker or the users group. Uh, moving forward, I'm hoping to invest some time in getting, uh, making it easier for widgets to either go full screen, so you don't have to bother stretching them or resizing them. You can just treat an entire widget as an independent full screen dialog. Um, so that wraps it up. Thanks for watching.